Hello guys and welcome back to Dark Horse FM and in this video we're going to use the FM24 player scoring system to recruit players on Football Manager 2024. This web app was brought to us by Square Plays. You can see his logo right here and his Twitter account is actually attached to the website. It was also designed by Fatheed and Harrison Clark. Here is the video to the breakdown of how the scoring system works. It's actually a Python code compiled together to actually give us the scoring system as well. Initially I think Square Plays actually showed us a behind the scenes of how the calculation actually works with Python and everything but he's kind of brought us a simplified version of something that comes in the form of a web app so you can actually use this so i'm going to show how that works here for a detailed version of the entire backroom and how everything works in the scoring system you can go over and watch screw plays video i'm going to attach a link in the description but over to football manager 2024 so in order to do this you need to pay attention you kind of have to start with attribute masking turned off so i'm going to have to start a new save with attribute masking turned off so i'm going with real world i kind of like that somehow now and in here when you're loading the database very important i'm going to go down here to the advanced option and then disable attribute masking the reason why you're going to do this is because the, the fm24 scoring system needs to know the attributes of all your players to actually be able to rank them again you need to watch skiro plays detailed video to actually understand fully why that is the case i'm going to switch database from a small database now to include a large database to actually give me a lot more players to work with and begin so we're here with benfica one of the best youth teams in football manager in case you're struggling to find wonder kids just go ahead and manage benfica you probably have a lot more wonder kids to work with without even signing anybody the reason why i'm using benfica is because it gives me a threshold for who to work with so looking at the i'm going to just skip the squad and then looking at the list of players that are currently in benfica i'm going to actually filter these players and show all the attributes that are supposed to be there now looking at skiro plays videos you can actually find the all attributes for your squad filter where you can go ahead and use this attribute to actually enable all the player attributes that are necessary for the scoring system to actually you know rate your players according to their correct rankings so this is how the attribute actually looks like it also includes the player uid something like that so once this is all set up you're going to go into your players and then i'm currently on the pc so i'm going to use control a and try that at first you notice as i press control a nothing happens so you're going to want to click maybe one player or just an empty space like this just try and select one then press control a that goes ahead to select all your players immediately you do that you can actually right click if that works okay no it didn't work out that way so i'm going to try that again press ctrl p as if you want to print and once you do that it's going to give you a dialog box that tells you how do you want to print this either printer or web page or text file i'm going to select a web page item and then just save it as something i'm going to give it benfica slb squad so once we have that all set up you can now go over to the fm24 player scoring system and then choose the file that you just finished saving via web app it's going to take you to your or find the file location anyway mine is probably going to be in football manager 1024 because i like everything to be in the same place you can see my slb squad in here just go over this and then select upload and considering that i hope my internet is still connected and once that's done you can click upload in the web app and then allow it to upload the html file it's going to take a few seconds depending on how fast okay it says here at least one checkbox must be selected so i'm just going to switch this down and try to choose the roles that i'm looking for okay currently i do not have a tactic set for my benfica squad but i'm just going to say off the top of my head let's go for advanced forward and I'm going to also select anchor man i'm also going to select advanced playmaker because these are specific roles that i want to use in my team okay not anchor man let's try ball winning ball winning midfielder on defend duty i'm also going to include ball playing defender on defend duty so what the scoring system is going to do is going to rank players based on the attributes that are assigned to these roles again for more detail of how this actually works you can go ahead and check out screw plays video in detail so so now that those roles are selected it's asking me to select the file again so i'm just going to do that trying to obey everything that needs to be done here and once this file is selected oh that was quick just go ahead and hit open and then exit to upload yeah we're finally in so this is what's going to show us it's going to show us angel di maria lucas um nicholas otomendi and a few more players and then it's also going to rank them by their player attributes looking at their heights and then at the far right you're going to see the current player roles that i selected you can choose any player roles that you want really there's an advanced forward and we're going to see who the best advanced forward is in SO Benfica and that player is David Neres, a 26 year old, 21 million pounds. So that's David Neres. The idea is I'm going to actually cram this number that says 14.9. So when I'm going to scout players, I'm just going to, since we already have the player attributes selected really, I'm going to look across the entire world for players that have this score or higher 14.9 or higher these are ideal players that can actually make my team better in this certain position for example advanced forward i'm looking for 14.9 i'm going to rank my team by ball playing defenders again and see so there's a 
score for ball playing defenders and that's Lucas Verissimo 28 year old ball playing defender so when i'm scouting i'm going to look for ball playing defenders that have a better attribute above 13.8 makes sense so now i'm back to football manager we're going to go into the benfica scouting and then currently in scouting we're going to look for players you can actually look for players in range or you can look at scouted players so i'm going to just choose players in range and see what we have so we have a list of 9107 players and we're going to try to filter through all these players now the good thing about this is that the filter for player scout is also important that you can actually apply you normally the previous one that you guys all attributes for your squad you also need to import the all attributes for your scouted players so looking at the code you can see the filters in here i do have the file you can still find it in screw place folder in the video in the video description for that video you will find all the folders and the filters that you need so i'm just going to open this not filters i think it's views and yeah here we are so you have player search for all attributes and then you can go ahead and load up that view and that's yeah it's loading the same exact view but this time for players that you're scouting so we now have everybody in the game currently that is recognized in my scouting range for ESO Benfica everybody's attribute is now loaded so I'm just going to do the same thing try and select one player and then once you have that one player selected press ctrl a it's going to select everybody else in the list so in order to narrow our search from 9,107, I'm going to actually lock this down from players that are, let's say, we're looking for Wonder Kids, for example. Let's say like, only players that are not above the age of 22. So that narrows it down to 2,000. Okay, let's just make it 21. And then lock it down to players that are only central defenders. Let's say we're looking for a ball playing defender that is under the age of 21. Hit OK, and then go again and select the players that are, just say Control A, after you've selected one player, then go Ctrl A, then press Ctrl P. And there's going to bring up a dialog box. Go ahead and click web page and then try to save it as scouting range. Okay, we already have that. Let's go ahead and replace that scouting range because the first one is already too large. Now we can go and replace the file and see how we can get better results from what we just did. So go ahead and select scouting range and then click OK. Go again and upload. Now that the results are up, we can go ahead and scroll and see who the best center backs are. So there are currently Mess Malik Theo here from AC Milan. He has a work rate of 13.5. We're just going to scroll all the way down to ball playing defenders and then try to rank the ball playing defender by the very best so we had 13.8 for so benfica but looking at players that are 21 and under the half we have 14 14 for ball playing defenders and there are two players that stand up in that list in tangai nianzu and malik theo one is playing for sevilla the other is playing for ac milan they're quite good players as well and pieri and hincapie is in bayer leverkusen and then there's another good player here in maxime esteve he's playing for montpellier and he's only 21 he's probably going to cost you he's like 13.4 and considering that our best center back is 13.8 if you go on to sign this maximum esteve guy when he gets to 20 when he gets to 28 29 years he's probably going to be an absolute gem of a center back for you as well and he also has a good personality and spirited all the other players are fairly determined which is quite good as well so you can use this player scoring system to help you narrow down your search and then find the good players for your team that you can buy for good money now tanga nianzu is going to be quite expensive i think but players like Maxime Esteve and then Martin Vitic, he's 20 year old in Sparta Prague. You can actually get this guy for 1.2 million. Wow. Observe that Vitic is actually ranked higher than Gerard Brintree. That's going to cost you twice as much in this particular save. So just choose wisely. Use the scoring system for yourself. And then remember to look at Screw Plays video. It's on YouTube. You can actually check the video. I'm going to attach a link in the description so you can watch the video for yourself and see it in detail about how this works and then you can go about signing players, recruiting players on Football Manager 2024. Unique, it actually works on Football Manager 2023 as well. I heard it from somebody on Twitter that he tested it out and then it works on FM23. So in case you're playing FM23, you haven't yet gotten FM24, not to worry, just try it out for yourself. It works with data and tables, so it should work for you as well. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like on it and also remember to visit Skiro Play's detailed video about this whole breakdown and how you can go about recruiting players using this system and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.